Hi, Allison Bales here with Energy Vanguard, and I want to talk today about the Zender Energy Recovery Ventilator Outlets and Inlets. This is a, called a Luna Extract Valve. This is for pulling air into the system, and I'll go over that first, and then I'll show you the, the supply valves and how they work. Okay, here is the Luna extract valve. I have removed it from the ceiling. And first of all, notice you've got this little cone here. This is a filter on the back side, and you need to check this and clean it or, or replace it every once in a while. On the underside, you see the gasket that keeps it airtight. On the front, you see this from the room, and you can unscrew that, and that exposes the adjustment mechanism. This is a valve. They call it a valve because you can pull the locking mechanism out and you can turn this. As you see, as I go clockwise, it is moving in. And so that gap is closing. So less air can go in. As I rotate it counterclockwise, it comes out and I can get more airflow. Two things to notice. There's a scale on here from zero to 25 right now. My pointer is pointing at 25. So you might think that I have 25 levels of adjustment, but actually I have 75 levels of adjustment because on the back side, there's another scale down in here that says one, two, three. And so what that means is that if I start wide open at 25, I can go all the way down to zero and then past zero. So I can go again through another 25, and then I can go down even more through another 25, all the way down to zero, where it's not gonna move anymore. And this is pretty much completely closed. There's a tiny little gap, a little bit of air could go through, but this is mostly closed. And then you could lock that if you, if you want it like that. But the person commissioning the system is gonna set these numbers. On the back side of this, they're gonna write the room and the type of valve, and they're gonna put the the stage number one, two, or three, and then the setting zero through 25, right in there. That's where they should stay after commissioning. The person commissioning it de determines what the numbers need to be to get the right amount of airflow. So here's a bedroom. This is a supply valve. Looks very similar to the extract valve. You have to get up close and know what you're looking at to see the difference, but it looks very similar. And it also adjusts the amount of airflow that we get in the room because we want a certain amount of airflow for the room. We design it for a certain amount of airflow and we commission it for a certain amount of airflow. So we have to adjust the valves to get that right amount of airflow. Let's take a look inside this one. Here's the supply valve, and unlike the extract valve, it does not have a filter on the back because air is blowing out here. That filtration for the supply air happens at the unit. And on the other side, similar to the extract valve, we have a cover that you can unscrew and take off. And we have a locking mechanism that allows us to adjust the airflow. And so we pull that out. We can rotate this and as we rotate, we go to smaller numbers on the scale here. In this case, it's just 0 through 25. We don't have three levels of 0 through 25. It's just one level of 0 through 25. What happens, so right now it's all the way closed. As we go to bigger numbers, notice that gap is increasing in size, allowing more air out. So this would be wide open. This should be 25 on the scale. Well, close to 25. Let me get it all the way. There is 25, so that's our maximum opening. We're going to get maximum airflow from a particular vent when we have it set at 25. All right, let's do a quick wrap up just talking about the system as a whole now. What we saw were the extract and supply vents, the terminations, and how to adjust them, um, the filtration that goes on the extract side with the little cone filter. But that's all part of the system. That's the distribution part of this energy recovery ventilator. At the, and the vents that you saw are at the ends of these tubes, Comfo tube that goes out to the register boxes that have the vents in them that you see in the rooms. The register boxes have either one, two, or three tubes going to them, and they're all labeled up here, so you can see these labels. So the Comfo tubes coming in now go to the manifold that you see right here. And let's scroll down a little bit, and you can see uh, bigger ducts. And here is the unit itself. This is where the heat and moisture exchange happens. It's where the fans are. This is where the, the, the brains of the machine are. 
If you're interested in whole house ventilation, this is one of the best systems in the world. And yes, I would be saying that even if I didn't get this system for free. Yes, they gave it to me for free. But I, even before I got it, I was telling people this is the best ventilation system out there, pretty much. And I love having it in my house. I love having it running, keeping the air clean. So more about that later.